Hello, I'm Antrilism and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a Game of Thrones mod. We are playing as the North, formerly as Rob Stark until he died in Battle of Victorian Greyjoy. We are about to defeat the Greyjoys themselves, actually. The uh, Ironborn are about to go down with 96% versus them. And we're also at 90% versus the White Walkers. We are going to hopefully be able to defeat both Winter and the Ironborn this episode. However, there is one issue, and that is that we are zero years old. Okay, we're three years old. Whatever. We are the son of Jem Westerling and Rob Stark. Eddard Stark. Eddard the, I don't know, second or whatever. Anyway, the point being, it's going to take us like 13 years of game time until we're able to actually do anything in game. Uh, you can't start new wars. You can't even, like, select people to be in your council. Um, which means that your realm actually really suffers because no one gets appointed to your council. You'd think that, say, your regent would do that, but it seemingly your regent doesn't, so you just end up there going, I've got no one on my council. Um, I don't know if that's a bug or is designed. And quite frankly, it makes a really, really boring Let's Play. Now, I know other YouTubers would normally just scrap the Let's Play and start again before uploading. Uh, I decided to upload it because A, I was in a rush, and B, also because I thought Rob Stark's story was kind of fun, and him dying would be... It would be kind of unfair for us to go, oh, Rob was such a good character, he died. Uh. The only thing I think is, though, if we end up as playing as a three-year-old character, it's just going to be really boring to play as, you know, Eddard for 13 years. So instead, what we're going to do is I've got no way to abdicate. That's why I was hoping that we could have the abdicate mod on, uh, because we'd be like, oh, we can abdicate. But you can't abdicate if you're a child, which I understand makes sense, but also from a gameplay point of view, I think it's the one real big thing about CK2. It's why I don't let's play that often, is if you end up in a situation like this with a regency, you can just go and go to the shops, go to the pub. Um... Go on Facebook. Just leave the game playing fast because it's not like you can do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring up this menu here. And I'm going to type in char info. And now you can see we have some info. And we're going to go kill 999016771. Oh no, we died. And then we're going to go kill 999 because we're playing with another... Actually, that's us again, right? Do we need to hit OK or something? So be it. We are playing as King Rob now. Okay, kill nine 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 zero two zero. We're yeah, we're zero years old now. There we go. We're playing as Brandon. Still, you know, we've got so far in. We might as well continue. Eighty fifty nine. And now we're playing as Rickon, 9059. And we're playing as Aya. There we go. So be it. I really don't like doing that. I don't like bringing up the, the console. But it's one of the downsides of Crusader Kings 2 is that, uh, unfortunately, it's really, really boring if you get Regency. The same is true for European Universe 4. And while Paradox have repeatedly said they are going to add some fun stuff to do in the meantime, they don't seem to understand that nothing they has done to try and fix that has actually resulted in any more fun. I, I do, don't worry, I really do love the games, I love Paradox, but when they keep saying, oh, we're going to fix this, it's, they still haven't. Uh, I don't know if they just keep saying they're going to fix it and they, they can't think of a way to do it, or whether they think they fixed it and they haven't done anything. Either way, I should be coming of age relatively soon, because I think you come of age when you're 15 in this mod. You could advancing down there. You keep backing away from the White Walkers because they managed to win a fight against us. All hail her grace. Aya of the House Stark, the first of her name, Queen of the North, Queen of the Winter, and the first man, Lord of Winterfell, and protector of the realm. The Queen of the North, the Queen of the North. The money are here seeking repayment of King Rickon's debts. There were... Debt will be due in five years. I owe them nothing or... You know they have. I have the money right here. I'm just going to give you the money straight away. There you go. Actually losing money quite fast though. I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believed it to be a burglar. When I went downstairs, I discovered Matthew opening one of my letters. Okay, uh... We could... I'll oh, teach him to be less nosy. Punch. Which is totally what I would do. Or he could use some practice reading and we lose prestige. I'll teach him to be less nosy. I like to see other people cry. I've gained the cruel trait. Admittedly, I can actually see Aya getting the cruel trait. After talking to Matthew, he seems to understand the uh, concept of privacy better. Ah, uh, I don't think it was talking. I think it was beating him up until he went, please, no. Game prestige, at least.
Right, I need to fight you. Oh, oh, 100%. Off a piece. They lose prestige. He pays me 136 gold. All women kidnapped, slave captured, and sword stolen from the subjects. Blah, 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 blah. Will be returned along with some golden recompense. All lands held, which are legally part of my realm, will be returned. We gain prestige, almost 180. And he loses claim. Sure. I mean, that seems pretty low in terms of gold for how much it cost us, but sure. There we go. Queen Arya won. Take that. No heir to my dynasty. We'll work on that. We also can't marry you. Break betrothal. It's only a minus twenty, but we can't we can't have a betrothal like this because it'll be a it'll be a ma not a matrilineal. What's the opposite? Patrilineal, which is the default, which means that he will then get our realm. We need a matrilineal marriage, so we have to break our betrothal. I can't appoint anyone to the council. I think. I can, cool. Because I'm old enough not to have a... Not to have a... Uh, what's it called? Regent. I don't actually have a regent right now. Sweet. We've got word from the Islanders that the Ironborn have a new leader. Asher Greyjoy! Okay. The Dramon are therefore crowned as the new Iron Queen. Oh, someone's arrived at my court. Oh dear. The walkers are managing to take some of the land back. Let's get our army up here. Nice and quick. I also want to get out of here because we're taking so much attrition right now. Which way are you going? Away from me. Good. Ooh! I'll be afraid of sun. Good for you. You're a nice bloke. Oh, <gasps> and we've come of age. You know what it means? It means arranged marriage time. Hi. Can I propose arranged betrothal? Matrilineal. No. It was worth a try. Okay. Prince Tristan of Dawn. Brave, selfish, cynical, greedy, poor fighter, flamboyant schemer. Not terrible. Okay, we could marry Prince Tristan of Dawn. Sir Gregor, hmm. I don't think so. Who else could we marry? The Mark. You're gay. Doesn't really make the best offspring in terms of, you know, trying to actually continue our dynasty. Alright, is anyone here a genius or strong? Because those pass down. Sir Gregor. I'm not also giant's blood. I'm not gonna marry Sir Gregor. That would be weird. Pretty sure he's on my list to kill, so. Can we just look them up in, like, the person finder? Find character. Adult. Yes. Married. No. Diplo range. Yes. Gender. Men. Uh. Sure. Let's see if we can find someone. 
There's a quick character here. It's not a genius though. Master scheme. Ooh, okay. Attractive. Club foot. Hedonist. I mean, it means more chance of getting babies, which is always nice. I mean, not that I would really be, you know, that interested in the babies, but I'm sure she would understand at this stage that babies are needed. Quick. Oh, that is my, like, great uncle or something? Maybe my uncle? I can't remember. No, I'm not marrying the blackfish. The age difference would also be very weird. Septon, probably not going to actually have babies for me. And I need all the babies I can get. Okay, let's just give up. Let's go back to our previous choice. There was someone here. Tristan of Dawn. Right. Matrilineal. No. What? Too high in the line of succession. Fine. Courtier, no. Mm. I wonder, what's the Lannister's line of succession? Tyrion doesn't need children. He's married to Joy Hill. Okay. If I turn char info off. Char info. There we go. Now I can have the normal amount of info back. You're incapable? Apparently been declared incapable. Abomination of incest and all that. Yeah, we're not marrying Tom and just a little bit too much bad blood there, I think. Ooh, could I marry you? Let me just double check this. This would actually put us in line to the throne of the veil. Because you're the heir. Yes, right, this would put us in line to the lordship of the veil. So, arrange marriage. Aya, uh, matrilineal, will lose prestige. Which is fine. There we go. And now... Plot to kill. Now this is something I would do. Right, how many people would actually join the plot? Not enough. We need to work on this. Why will you not join the plot? I'll send you a gift. You need to like me more and more. Still, we've got a couple of years in which to work this, right? We've got a couple of years in which to work this. Kingdom of the Vale. <gasps> we can press it. We can press our claim. We've discovered a man called Ramsey who'll serve my ranks. Okay, I've not got a good history of people called Ramsey, but sure. Excellent. Thank you, mage. Yes, this is very tempting. We'll have to do that after this war is done, though. Where's my other army? Winterfell. Okay, we've got a cunning plan. Oh, 
Uh, we've been convinced that someone's nice. Awesome. That's really heartwarming. I don't know. Whatever it's meant to be. Lord Harmon is no longer spy master. Lady Osha was murdered on the orders of Caitlin Tully. I mean, I inherited her land. Okay. And her heir was nominated. Very well. Um, Caitlin Stark, would you mind not murdering my people? I'm going to arrange a marriage for you. I don't have anyone for you to marry. Okay. Stop murdering people. I like Dosha. Some of your kin are unhappy you granted the lordship. Deep down, as they're expecting to grant the title themselves. Okay, well... Meh. We're taking the entire army up here. Uh, Galbot of Warsaw used a favor and Lord Great John to call them into their factions. That's not sounding nice. Need to figure out how to make people happy. Maybe just bribes. Copious amounts of bribes. Ooh. We've heard reports from Barrowtown that your bannerman, Stout, is suffering at the captivity of Risewell. Apparently, misfortune, Lord Howell has been routinely tortured by. Okay. Sure, it's abuse of his rights. Hi, uh, could you, like, release someone, or...? Plot to rescue from prison. Sure, do it. Let's do that. That's a plot. Our other plot isn't really going to get that far. Ninety-nine percent versus winter. Come on. A little bit more. Uh oh, there's a chance. Guards are all at the rack. Uh oh. That's what I get for being cruel. 99%. Alright. Assault that. 100%. Offer peace. We're offering peace to winter? Do you really do that? Enforce demand. We gain 450 prestige. Not bad. Let's take the army south. We took a lot of injuries from uh, just attrition there. And the war has ended. Do you want to reappoint re the old council? I can't. The following de jure claims can be pressed. How? It's a... I can't usurp it. Of vassalization? Send an offer to the ruins of Old Stone, asking them to be a vassal. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to dismiss that for now. No air. I'm working on it. Set crown focus. Let's set it to Moat Kalen. What about these? Command to end war. Meh, the council will vote on it. No, let's not bother. Ransom all prisoners. Going against the will of the council will be a viewed as an act of tyranny? Oh. Okay, let's not bother then. I could imprison my mum. Mm, let's not for the moment. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's be merciful. Let you out of the dungeon a little bit. The war's over now. I inherited Castle of Drunkard's Tower from Commander Hostin of Drunkard's Tower. Okay, fair enough. I don't mind inheriting free stuff. We can press the Lordship of Night Song against Stannis. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick a war with Stannis right yet. That seems a bit of a bad idea. Claim the veil, I will be doing that. How's our plot coming? Oh, it stopped coming this way. Can I send a gift? 
Yeah. Send a couple of gifts. Right. Disband. Now. Oh, hello, they fractured. Are they all fighting independently? Hmm. Let's go back to killing Robert. There's a chance in all this commotion that we'll get a shot at killing him. Who's this? Samuel Stone. Oh, it's not Samuel Tarly. Okay. Send you a gift. Send you a gift. Let's see how far we can get this intrigue to go. Apostate found. Priest Royce burst into your chamber, flanked by several warriors, dragging Lady Hera of Driftwood Hall. The many cons oh, people are claiming that she's a witch. Burn her. Hmm. Throw in the dungeon. Bring out the branding iron. I'm going to burn the apostate. Had to be done. My regency's ended. And I finished my education in the art of war. Right, pick a character focus. I'm gonna go family because I want the fertility buff. Which isn't ah uh, your thing, but it's gotta be done. And then we'll also go with Stay at peace for five years. No. Have a son. Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually becomes many, and you seem to slip away. Later, as you leave the council chamber, you stumble and fall on your face. You can feel the taste of blood in your mouth and dizziness setting in. Help. Hopefully someone will hear you, or no need to draw attention to myself right now, I think. Ah, you would do that, though. Did we get wounded or something? Oh, you've discovered someone of military rank. Cool, that's great. I... Totally didn't almost die there. Okay, someone did try to murder me. That's not good. Is it because my cupbearer isn't doing a good job? Isn't my cupbearer meant to be, like, tasting all my stuff? Alright, we need a master of horse. Uh, Edmure, you really do not like me. Okay, let's see who's on my council. Right, let's start getting gifts out. We need to get everyone on side. It's going to be expensive, but it needs to be done. Pacify, improve holding. Improve defenses. I will see administration of the realm. Seems like a decent option. Okay, I'm going to start our attack on the Veil relatively soon. I just want people to get back in position. How much money have we got? We are gaining money. Claim the Veil. Let's do it. The state is at war. We should send ravens to the great lords, rallying them to the crown's defense. I will honor my allegiance. Thank you. Ed Motelli coming to our aid there. 
Right, we need to get our military up and running. Not many people left, actually. Considering we started off a little while ago, maybe double this number. Now a little bit reduced. No one else has sided with Lord Robert? Good. I approve. Apostate. God damn it. Stop finding apostates. You're not apostate. You worship the old gods. Ah, oh, but he's a witch. Mm. Oh, this is priest. Okay, this is the person. Okay. There we go. Yeah, a bit of an apostate, etc. You've got a negative opinion of me. Burn the apostate. It's got to be done. My court warder is a charming little rascal. A charitable little rascal. Praise him publicly. People will not like that. Thank the old gods. Yeah, we go. Thank the old gods for the world's virtues. He's developing an arbitrary streak. I will try teaching him bravery. My liege, I've been attending to the wounds of the men at your behest. They seem to be much happier now. Hearing that the Lord would offer them his their maester. Okay. Morale advice, 10%. I will take that. Thank you. Anyone else joined in? No. Good. Now let's put our best characters. Brynden. Maid. Mag Madder. Medger, Medger. I could lead one of the flanks. Oh, I don't have a, don't have a descendant. That's what happened with the Kari and Greyjoy. I'm not going to let that happen again. Not yet. Oh, hello. That's their army right there. Raiders. Oh, have arrived to loot and pillage in. <gasps> Bear Island. That is not allowed. Okay, we're going to have to split the armies up. Ah, Ramsey, there we go. Found a use for you at last. No, you're not raiding Loot Island. That's not allowed. My prisoner is complaining. Let's be merciful. And we'll also ransom all prisoners. The question is, will we get there in time? Oh, only 35 people here? Yeah, assault. We lost seven. Take them in a fight. Oh, the blackfish is the blackfish dead. He's not there anymore. Hmm. Could we take this fight? Oh, that's too many defenses. Lady Majormont has been a leal and able servant. Successfully keeping many tasks in the north, it would be seen as the right and honorable course to reward her with certain income and grants so as to foster greater loyalty. I owe her nothing. Mm. Pay her some money. Owe her a favor. Make her a gift. Uh, I'll just give her a little bit of money. She definitely deserves that. Your Grace, I'm deeply hesitant to ask, but the coffers of my law subjects are running dry from the upkeep of levies you've raised. Uh. Tax concessions, give them the gold. It's a lot of people gold. Here's some tax concessions. That's going to harm us in the long term. 
I know I'm right now, by the way, down here. You know they've got that internal war going on? What's happening is I'm landing where they've had the internal wars and they've got the tiny little garrison forces of like 35 people in a keep. And I'm just nicking the keep because it's 35 people. I need to do that more often. I'm actually trying to find like which ones have been attacked now. Yeah, this one hasn't, so we're going to have to just do a normal assault. Right. I'm leading this fight. Okay. Oof. Doesn't seem like a great idea. Can we get a few more, maybe... Commanders? Definitely Clay. I mean, yeah, if Ramsey dies, then... Oh, no, no big loss. Where's Ramsey? That's the other Ramsey. There's two Ramseys. Just confuse me. Hopefully we'll get to the Bear Island in time. We didn't. I managed to get away. <sighs> oh well. We don't want to be in command either because that actually reduces your fertility. Because you're too busy commanding a fight to actually, you know... Um, Matthew's mastering the art of swordsmanship. Good for him. Almost there. Then we can crush this army. Oh, we paused. Whoops. We're actually gaining money while at war. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, Kingdom of the Veil. I am literally pressing, pressing that claim right now, aren't I? Yeah. There's a new ruler. King Thorma of the Iron Isles. Okay, they go through that. King's pretty damn quick. They're taking back all the land that I've tried to grab. That's just not allowed. Ah, but now they'll be backing themselves into a corner. I've been corresponding regularly with my half-brother John. It's always make sure to see him whenever I get the chance. It's a harsh world and family must stick together. Ah, oh, Arya and John are actually like pen pals. That's amazing. I approve. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I enact a series of laws empowering my council to act and vote on matters pertaining to the governments of the High Lordship of... Sure, okay. Master Lewin, after tending the wounds of the men of your command, is reported to have cracked under the stress of the stream of grotesque injuries. He is now stressed, okay. Morale of Imus has gone down. There we go. Capture that. Now we'll grab you. I've got an increased amount of questions from Matthew lately about the old gods. Let's teach him all about the old gods. And we convert the people of Deep Town. Excellent. It's called Grazed and Rest in the Unfaithful Parts of the Realm. Both never. Oh dear. Yay, religious unrest. Wait, why aren't we fighting you? Yeah, I don't care. Uh, fine, I guess I will let you. I guess it's because you're fighting the same enemy as me, maybe? Okay, where are you? We need to go find you and capture you. Lord Paramount of the Vale... Raining in the Eerie, Eerie. But where is the Eerie on the map? It's one of the things I'm not certain about. The Eerie, here. Okay. 
It's really tough to take the Eerie. I think historically no one has taken the Eerie, but we are going to. Because that way, if we capture him... If we capture uh, Rob of the Veil, vale, we can just kill him. And then that does the same job. Walder is not exerting himself in studies. I'm starting to despair. He's just dense. It's true. Sure, why not? And he'll be happy with upbringing as well. It's not like he's my character. Ooh. Monthly attrition, 13%. You can see why it's never been taken. Less now, because the uh, Rivland's army's left. We've heard reports from the Terry Guild that the Guild of Alchemists has rediscovered one of their ancient powers. The power to create and world flame creatures. Well, that doesn't sound good. Right, one siege down. There we go. Actually, it's three sieges there. I'm going to try and get this army here before it runs away. Um, some tax concessions. We'll just keep them on their toes of tax concessions. They never know when they're going to get money off. Uh, oh, dear. Express on consternation that Ramsey enjoys uh, command of your armies. Clearly, someone more appropriate. I don't want to piss off Ramsey. I'm going to leave Ramsey doing his job. I think one of the important things in Game of Thrones is don't piss off Ramsey. Willis, the spymaster of Lord of Arendelle, has been sent to Arendelle to investigate rumors of a plot. Maybe she should bet the before finds out, finds out about my rumor. Okay, whatever. I will honor my allegiance. Excellent. It's a small lord, though. Uh, someone else is coming... Look at rumors of a plot. Fair enough. One of my commanders has improved. Mm, the whole attack in the air thing is getting there, but slowly. Or the game could crash. I guess we'll continue from the last auto save, which actually wasn't that long ago. Uh, but for now, I've been at Elysium. If you've liked, like, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Oh, CK2. CK2 mods, more specifically. Um, so yeah, hopefully, we'll find out if we can actually manage to take the Eyrie and get Lordship of the Veil vale as well. Which won't be for me, it'll be for my husband, Aya's husband, and then when they have children, they'll go to Aya's children, and then we'll have dual Lordship. At which point, maybe we can make a play for the Iron Throne. That's the plan, at least. Until next time, Banner Elysium, stay shiny. It's kind of lonely out here with nothing around me. Just... Nothing up there, nothing down there.